from the Huskies wouldn't be who we are today uh, without the Nashville community support. So um, every step of the way as we grow, we're committed to you know, giving back to our communities and, and showing them how much we appreciate and love them. None of us are chefs by trade or come from a culinary background. So we had a lot of learning. We had a huge learning curve. The lessons that we learn, you know, some entrepreneurs might not learn them until 10 years and being in business. You know, a lot of times people forget that uh, when you become an entrepreneur, you know, you depend on, uh, you know, your staff and your teams around you to make you as successful, you know, as you can be. Uh, and you have a responsibility to, you know, do the right things so that the people that you depend on every day, you know, can live a healthy, beneficial lifestyle for them uh, and their families. I would say be diligent in your research. Go into it with a, with a big vision. And uh, you, you know, look up one day and you say, man, this is what, what I created. Joining us now from Nashville, Tennessee, please welcome the guys behind Slim and Huskies, Derek Moore, Emmanuel Reed, and Clint Gray. Good to see you, fellas. Hey, okay, doing? I got to start up. First of all, I have your pizza here with me. But Emmanuel, I need to hear how the name Slim and Huskies came to be. <laughs> all right, well, well Slim and Huskies, um, it really originated as a joke between my, my two business partners and I. Um, as a kid, I was always a, a, a slim guy, real skinny. Um, and my counterparts right here were uh, some, some kind of husky dudes. So they... <laughs> so they <laughs> So they they had to uh, endure the pain of uh, shopping in the husky section. So where I had a big selection of clothes, uh, they had a had a smaller uh, selection of husky husky gear that they could wear. Well, listen, so. Derek, don't you worry. <laughs> Fun fact: I used to work at Sears and Roebuck, and I worked in the husky department. So I dressed okay. a whole generation of cute. They don't even call it husky anymore. So uh -huh. you guys, so slim and husky, the name means something to you. Tell me, Derek, like how did you start? in the pizza business. I, I mean, you wake up one day and say, I got an idea. We're gonna, we're gonna make some pies. How does it come up? Honestly, it's typically how, how it works with, with the three of us. Uh, we come up with an idea and, uh, and we just run with it. And we knew that pizza was, uh, was low cost startup. Uh, and, and we knew that, you know, majority of Americans love pizza. It was the top food. Uh, in America, along with hamburgers and hot dogs, and now tacos. So, well, now uh, you've got me, you have my whole dietary list there. But Clint, <laughs> listen, behind you it says pizza rules everything around me. Clearly, a little Wu Tang in there. So you guys have your spice, you got your hip hop, but Nashville. I know y'all like hot. Was it the hot chicken? I've had that. Um, I, a lot of things in Nashville, barbecue, but. Pizza, when I opened the box, my whole team of New Yorkers said, come on, they don't know nothing about pizza in Nashville. <laughs> what you know about pizza, sir? <laughs> well, you know, uh, Nashville is just one of those great food cities. Uh, you know, we've got a lot of great restaurants here. And we started to look around at the market when we were creating our restaurant. We said, you know what? We need our own style of pizza. And so that's where Slim and Huskies came about. We used to have a moving company. We would travel around uh, America and, you know, moving people, and we would always eat pizza. So we felt like we were uh, pizza connoisseurs in a sense. So <laughs> we just took our stab at it. What is your, okay, so what is, Emmanuel, what's the style of pizza? Because it the bread looks crispy. It kind of has, like, this thin crust, which I like. But I also lived in Chicago, so I like deep, too. So I, bottom line, I like pizza. Tell me your style as I bite into this. So we, we like to brand it as, as Nashville style pizzas, artisan, artisan style crust. Um, all of our sauces, we make everything ourselves. So all fresh ingredients, uh, nothing frozen in it terms of- It is spicy. It's spicy. So, so what, you, what you're eating right now, <laughs> Nashville hot chicken pizza's got a, it's got a, uh, a jalapeno cilantro ranch as the base. Thank you for the warning, <laughs> my friend. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a, uh, a hot chicken, a blend on, on white uh, white breast meat as well as a chicken sausage. It's topped with jalapenos, banana peppers, and we finish it off with our spicy honey drizzle along with our uh, special hot chicken shake. It is delicious, but it is spicy. You better you got to tell people is there, is there a little hot sign on the, when you on the menu? Do you have like a little flame to warn people? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> They're used to the spice around here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they do. Speaking about around there, Derek, y'all are so dedicated to, to the community 
opening up your businesses in African-American communities and really giving back. Why was it important to make sure you made an imprint with the success of the business in the community to give back? It's, it's just important for us to um, not just give back, you know, with fundraisers and donations, but also jobs. Uh, we understand that in our communities, uh, there's a need, there's an economic need uh, uh, to to give back, and we wanted to be a part of that. And the biggest way that we can give back is jobs. It's a mm. privilege for us to see, to walk down the street or drive down the street, and we see uh, our employees walking to work or riding the bus mm. to work, and then we see those preems on the back of their shirts. Um, it's just it's just great to see it, and that's something that we've always, always wanted to do. Uh, because we understand the needs. We come from these neighborhoods yeah. uh, and raised and went to school in these neighborhoods. And uh, it's just something that's that's needed across America, especially in the black community. And you're about to open w w what number location now? How many of you guys open yet? We're about to open number eight. In, number uh, eight? In it's very historic. We're opening in uh, downtown Nashville at Fifth that's... and Broadway. Yeah. Uh, and it'll be uh, the first black-owned restaurant on Broadway in downtown Nashville. Oh, my goodness. Well, let me tell you, you have earned your spot. When we said we were doing this show, people, I don't know if it was y'all with the accounts coming in saying <laughs> go to Slim and Husky, but let me tell you, people love it, and this pizza is delicious. It is amazing. Thank you, Thank you Derek, Emmanuel, and Clint, and you can get Slim and Husky's pizza and their cinnamon rolls shipped right to your door anywhere in America.